Hey guys, welcome back. This video is going to be about wild discus and the procedures that we go through in order to bring you the best from Brazil, specifically from the Santorum region. Okay, today we're going to talk about the wild discus. I know a few of you, a lot of you, enjoy these wild discus more than you do the hybrids and I completely understand they're beautiful on their own. We're going to show you the procedures that take place in order for us to be able to receive them, how they're quarantined for us prior to shipping to us. So videos are sent to us of the fish that we will receive while they're being quarantined and it takes about four months to deworm them, to clean them, and to get them to eat. And this is done all for us in Brazil. We pay extra for this in order to get you guys the healthiest and safest fish. Because let's face it, it makes no sense with all the work that I already have to bring these fish in and have to quarantine them myself, have to medicate them, have to revive them basically. It just, it doesn't make any sense. So. What we've done is we've made an arrangement with the exporter that he keeps them for a while for us, gets them nice and clean, and then ships them to us. Better for him, better for us, because there's less DOAs. And obviously the fish are coming in extremely healthy, extremely vibrant, and basically they're just ready for sale. We hold them for a week after we receive them, and then we immediately start shipping them out. These are all natural colors. As you can see, there's no specific light. It's just a white warehouse light. Uh, you can only imagine once you put enhancing lights on these, the, the amount of color that you're gonna get. So in the video, we're gonna go to clips from Brazil where you see where they're being pulled out of the river, where you see where they're being held for us in the quarantine rooms. And, uh, and basically you can get an idea of what's coming in the next three months. Even though we're housing about 300 of them already, we make an arrangement so that every three months, 300 or 400 more come in. And we do this for you so you have more to choose from. And another little point I wanna make, uh, we've changed suppliers, for one main reason. Uh, the main reason being that I was not getting shipped this kind of quality, this kind of showmanship that you're about to see because they were obviously keeping them for their retail operation and I completely understand. But as a businessman wanting to bring you guys the best, I had to go to another source. A lot of people ask me how difficult it is to keep the wilds. Uh, my reply to you is just as difficult as it is to keep the regular hybrids. They're not any different. You have to remember the old saying, a rose is a rose is a rose. All the hybrids that we have nowadays came originally from here. So these are discus as well, regardless of whether they're wild or not. Can you mix them? Yes, you can. Many people do. Many people have successfully done it and will continue to do it. Um, they eat the same foods as the hybrids. They need the same requirements, 84 to 86 water temperature. Uh, they love the pH right below seven. If you can keep them around 6.7 to 6.5, they're happy campers. If you need to be above, they adapt. But it's like us in Speedos in Alaska. You know what I mean? We can survive, but we're not gonna be happy about it. They can survive, okay? Um, they're as simple as can be. Same thing, one disc is for every 10 gallons of water in your tank, 20% water changes, feed them twice a day, okay? And, and that's it, nothing more. They're not different. You don't have to set up a separate tank for them. They, they're co completely, completely the same as the hybrids, identical. Take it from me, I'm around them all day long. And here's another tank with the wild discus. Look at the reds in some of these. Look at the striations. They're absolutely amazing and very friendly. And I'm gonna show you something. Just one of the cans that I grabbed, the Tropical Plus Flakes. And people say that these guys are finicky to eat. I'm gonna show you how finicky they are. Wild discus, 
eating flake food. If they eat flake food, guys, they'll eat anything. And this is how we want to send them to you so you can enjoy them. All the different varieties, all the eco varieties, all the Kuipea varieties, there's Eripixies in here. We're going to show you videos of the next and upcoming uh, shipment of what we're receiving. There's about 150 Blue Moon Heckles coming our way. You'll see them there in Brazil. We have Royals, Semi Royals, and Ikas. You have to see the Ica Reds in the video. And uh, this is how we do it so that we can bring you guys the best of everything. Uh, I'm very grateful that you guys are here watching. I know you guys are happy to see me again. So let's hope we can bring you a lot more content, especially with the new facility. Don't forget to follow us on Instagram, on Facebook, on YouTube, most of all, which you're already following. Have a great one, guys. This is Gabe Posada.